Hi. Uh, Sully from Half Cheetah Will View here. Um, the Cheetah might join us later, might not. But we both watched uh, Rust, and so we thought we'd share some thoughts on, our, on Rust. Rust was released in 2018 from Joe Lujan. And Carcass, uh, it was written and directed by Joe Lujan from Carcass Productions and released by Wild Eye Releasing. Uh, I'd like to take this minute to thank Wild Eye for sending uh, me and the Cheetah this copy of this movie to review. Um, uh, Rust is an interesting movie. Uh, let's see. Joe, Joe Lujan has written and directed um, three different versions of the movie. Um, two shorts and a feature. He shot one short and then he um, put on uh, extra extra uh, filming. He combined his second short with a padding. Um, so the runtime is extended to feature, feature film length. Uh, the synopsis, real quick, is real basic, simple. Um, some friends meet up some at an uh, uh, abandoned attraction, not knowing that the, uh, a, a killer lives with inside, who we, who we see early in the picture to establish him. His name is Travis, and he has killed his mother and father, and basically are. <clears throat> He's basically wearing his mom's face on as a as a mask, and he's been there for a very long time. And he basically kills anybody that comes within the in the house. Um, the friends hear these stories, and they're going to go out there to meet up with some uh, some boys, and they're going to go and check out the attraction. Um, doesn't go well for three of the four. Um, all sorts of shenanigans happens to them. Uh, the fourth girl manages to to semi escape. She's she's uh left for dead and is rescued. Um, she wakes up from a hospital in a hospital and from a coma, and after a month, and the uh, the police are there along with her friend's boyfriend. And they all insist that they that they all go back to where this girl was found, in order to find her friend and the girlfriend. And all sorts of shenanigans happens once again inside the house. All right, so don't want to get too much more than that. It's it's like I said, it's a, it's a basic plot. It's it's you know it's 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 an effective plot. That's why it's used over and over. Uh, so there's some pros and cons with this. Um, I'm going to go over the pros first. Um, the first thing I have to say is what I really enjoyed about Rust is the set design. I thought the uh, the haunted attraction, the, the massive house, uh, the, the various rooms, I thought it was excellent. I thought it was well, very well done, very, uh, very, uh, uh, very creepy. Uh, Provided a lot of atmosphere, um, so many twists and turns in that house, you could get lost in it, um, which makes it very, very, uh, you know, the killer knows it really well, but the victims don't, and they can, they really can't get out as easy as they can get in. Um, so I thought the I thought the set design was really well done. I liked it quite a bit. I thought the score by Eric Dyer was uh, also solid very creepy very uh very help help raise the tension of the movie which is a, a good horror score will do i thought that was really well done um i thought they had a good villain in travis um he's definitely effective uh, maybe a little undersized you know he comes across as maybe like five nine five ten so he's not an imposing killer he's not like six six um, so he's still, in a way he's sort of relatable. He also gives the idea that you have a chance against him, which is, you know, which makes it more interesting. Um, the wardrobe, 
uh, for the uh, uh, for for the killer for Travis was very effective. Uh, he looks just like the cover. Uh, that's him, and um, it's, it's spooky. Um, so there's a lot of there's some good things going on here in Rust. Um, Joe Lujan actually um, he he not only he did everything for this movie he. He wrote it, he directed it, he shot it, he edited it, he did the wardrobe. I mean, he was a man of all, all you know, all trades here. Definitely, you can see it's a labor of love. And I got to show mad respect out for him for that. Um, but there's some cons to the movie as well. A lot of cons. And surprisingly, I say that because Joe Lujan is... Uh, he's not a newcomer. He, he has over 60 credits underneath his belt, directing credits underneath his belt. And I just, when I was watching that, when I was watching Rust, and I, I just, this one thing that came out at me was, this should be a lot better than what it is. I mean, with, with I know it's low budget, but he's been used to work, he's used to work with low budgets. That's not new for him. He knows exactly how to get every penny he gets. Uh, onto the screen, he should. Um, I think a lot of it. What I had, what I had problems with, was the writing. Um, the acting wasn't very good, and the writing was really bad. Um, and I'm saying that in the fact that there's so many gaping plot holes here. It just absolutely. I mean, you can forgive one or two in a movie. I, I get that. But there's a lot here. There's a lot here where you're just looking at it and going like, no, it's just, no. You just, it just destroys credibility into the story. And that's a real shame. Um, um, having having a girl being rescued and waking up a month, late, a month later in the hospital and then telling her that, she, she, that she's got to go back to, find, to, where the, to where the girl disappeared at right away. I mean... Seriously, <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, the cops attempt a rescue, and there's only like they send one one female cop out off all by herself, and then there's only three other cops there uh, to make the rescue. Uh, it's just like I know it's no budget, but you still can't. Can, I still think you could find at least another five or six friends. To, to, to act as, as background cops, to make it more credible, to make it more earnest. Uh, it just didn't come across as that. And it just showed, it sh it, I mean, it really shows how low the budget is. And I don't necessarily think he needed to do that. I think he could have hit his budget a lot better. Um, and he didn't. Uh, the writing's just not very good. And the acting's worse. Um... There's not very good actors in, in this. Um, they try. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get on them. They do try. Um, so I don't know if I, you know. I guess I expect by this time with a, a director who has sixty films, and especially someone who does the Jack Webb troop thing, which means he uses the same actors in every production. I checked, and Joe has actually used a lot of the same actors in his other productions. Um, I just expect the level of acting to to be much better than what it is by this point in this time. Um, it really wasn't. So that brought down the movie a little bit. Um, and that's a shame. Um, I, I thought the lighting was... was, was wasn't that good either. Could have been a little bit better lit. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be dark, dark and atmospheric, and I get that uh, for the story. But for us viewers, it would have been nice to have a little bit more lighting in the in the house, just a little bit better. Um, I know it's, it's, it must have been. It, they made the house is a bitch to shoot when you see it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of small rooms, so maybe getting lights in there would have, was, was problematic. Um, and they obviously couldn't tear down rooms to to provide more maneuverability. Um, I don't know if maybe they could have did some overheads. I don't know, but the lighting in, in many spots was just 
not that good. Um, the my biggest complaint with this this movie, as far as the story goes, was a totally unnecessary rape scene. Um, I'm disappointed to see that in a lot of horror movies as of late that they use rape as a plot point. Listen, you if you can't establish your villain without that kind of of of, of uh, graphic violence, you need to hit the typewriter back. Uh, hit, hit it back and hit it hard and come back with a better story. Um, you've already established your killer. As far as I'm concerned, I thought Joe has established uh, Travis very nicely. Um, you know, he, he was definitely uh, uh, un, un, unbalanced, crazy slasher. Got that. Didn't need to see a rape scene, a gratuitous rape scene. Um, totally unnecessary for the movie. Brings it down a lot. Uh, and I'm not harping on him. I, I'm just harp, not harping on him as an individual director doing this because a lot of directors are doing this as of late. And there's just no reason for it. Um, I mean, I get it if you if that's the plot, you know, rape revenge movie. Okay, maybe that works. But just to do it as to establish your, your villain as even more crazy or evil or whatnot, yeah, you don't need to do that and you need to stop. Uh, I do appreciate the, like I said, the other things I do, I do appreciate it, though, is the do-it-yourself ethic. Um, you can definitely tell that Joe feels comfortable working around his, his troop, and they do him. Uh, there's a real sense of, uh, fluidity into the film. I mean, it's not, they know what they're doing. Um, it's just, it's not that good. But they do know what they're doing. Um, there's sequels to the movie. Uh, there's two two sequels I understand. Um, I don't know if Wild Eye will release them or not. Uh, so Travis, um, Travis will carry on. There is a twist to the movie too. Um, that that uh, is a is a nice twist, and uh, I won't ruin that. But Let's say that Travis isn't exactly, uh, he isn't by himself. Um, so that will be interesting in seeing how that moves forward. Um, so overall, did I, did me the Cheetah like this movie? Um, yeah and no. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, there's some elements to it that are good and not. I'm not going to sit there and give it a thumbs down. Um, I think this movie would have been would have been a little bit better if it had been a little bit shorter, tightened the tightened the story had been tightened up a little bit. Uh, and and that would have meant you know losing the rape scene there. That would have been that would have been a good first step. Uh, otherwise, that I thought this was very serviceable, um, and I think that that. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, film directors are they're so interested in just cranking out a legacy, you know, the backlog. And I think that there's such a hurry. Maybe they're underneath pressure just to get a new movie out. I, I, I said this once before um, in another review, but if you have a $20,000 budget, it doesn't mean you have to shoot $20,000 right then or there. If you get $20,000, why not wait till you get 40000 and then make that movie a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Um, cranking out movies just for the sake of cranking them out. What does it really matter if they're not that good? I much rather, I much rather a director take his time, he or her take her time, and do it right, and then come out solid. Um, if it takes a, if it takes a couple of years, it takes a couple of years, but it's going to be worth it. I much rather wait for a good movie than to watch a lot of bad ones being released left and right. So overall, the Cheetah, the Cheetah and I, we give Travis, the character, thumbs up. Uh, we give the, the production uh, a thumbs up. Uh, the acting is, uh, the story, is, uh, it can be improved. Uh, so overall, we'll give it a thumbs up. Uh, we think it'll be interesting for the watch. 
Um, so that's our review. And if you like what you saw or heard, um, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, let you know when we're dropping another review. I'm going to leave the links to Joe's uh, web uh, uh, Instagram page and Wild Eye Releasing. So if you want to buy a copy of Rust, uh, you can go to the, to the website and buy yourself one. Uh, also, we'll try to find the website for Carcass, uh, Joe's, uh, 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 Joe's production company website. I'll do that as well. And as a bonus, I'll throw in a wild eye review from our from me and the cheetah past uh, for that we did on the blog. All right. Until then, we'll talk to you soon. And we'll see you on the flippity flip. And until then, peace.